Any luck bringing the Iconoclast to the bargaining table? I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh... She's actually very qualified. All right. I'll have Celia organize a meeting in neutral territory, the old OSI church in the ruins. Meet us there, and we'll discuss terms. Hey, thanks for coming. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. Don't fret. The captain here is right honorable. Usually. Sanja, Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. Suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. I don't see why that couldn't be accommodated. Truly? A compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. His friend? His friend? Are you fucking kidding me, Captain? I've been standing with Graham for the better part of a decade while this paperclip cowboy sat behind his walls. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something, but you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. That means... I had no idea, I swear! Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that! The innocent of heart are often blind to the guilt in others. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. I... Okay, okay. 
You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You know, I felt the same way years ago, when he first left. There was something magnetic about him that lets you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay, if you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. As am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. Thanks for coming out, Sanjar. I, uh... Guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. We done a good thing, Captain. A real good thing. Lots of folks are gonna be better off because of this. Have you seen Arthur today? Hungry? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Thank you. 
Captain, you did it. My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are going to have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my tuk-tuk home safe again. Seen out of sorts to you? It's always cranky. No. Hey, Velma, I got your cap. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Yeah. I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. She's principled, in at least this area. I will begrudgingly give her that. Thank you. I think. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. I don't even want to think about that. Or how far behind Braxton's loss alone is going to put us. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately.
New face, huh? You from Offworld? A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. Here, take this as compensation. It ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. Timing, Captain. I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon... Destination reached. Scylla. Hey, you got a minute? Take someone to watch your back. Wait. Performing. Solar winds deposited on my doorstep now. Just more dirt and debris. Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Not much, but you are free to take whatever you wish. Please, leave me a few morsels of food, though. I may not eat a lot, but I still do need to eat. We are not here to rob you. I've brought this book for you to translate for me. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry. And the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart, or the unprepared. A crass way to put it, but yes. Chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. And I believe he may be right. 
There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. I, I don't know, Captain. Is this safe? I don't think this is safe. Well, I don't want to leave you all on your lonesome. I I'll just... Oh, fine, I'll do it. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated... Uh, uh, perpetrated? <laughs> I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out. Always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place. Never looking inside himself. I hope you'll pardon my interruption, but I think it's because he's unhappy with himself. Thank you. It relieves me to see there's at least one positive influence in my son's life after all these years. Has he told you how he thoughtlessly abandoned us? Thoughtlessly? How could you say that? I only wanted you and father to be proud of me. I was going to be the perfect vessel. I was going to be a better, more full of the plan. This here, it's all coming out wrong. The plan, it filled you with a joy I could never feel. I wanted it. And being a laborer made me miserable. I was better than that. You certainly convinced yourself you were. But don't feel bad. We continually lie to ourselves, weaving stories in a vain attempt to convince us that we are in control of anything. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. Stories are real. If they mean something, if they inspire you to kindness or, or action, but... Maybe Max's story about himself is all wrong, and that's why he's so unhappy. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I just wanted to prove to my parents that I... That... Uh, damn it. You're right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I, it's all dead. To attain your goals, you must live in the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More surely than even the fictional architect's plan you sleep away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, 
It didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Maximilian. This whole thing, it's... It's... It's just a farce, right? Just... Just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined. Controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? say. Thank you, Captain, but I just... I don't know. Is it wrong to try to be a gooder, better person than I am? But that's not what you're doing, is it? You're desperately trying to find a story to organize reality in your head. A story to control everything. A new story of the happy you, the contented you, me. That's not... Uh, it can't be right. I, I've only been searching for the answer to the equation be, because it will set us free, won't it? How? By removing the need to make any decision. To have your life completely controlled. The illusion of certainty. Your obsession allowed you to avoid the real question. Who are you? I'm Max. Me. I'm real. You can't convince me otherwise. Please don't convince me I'm not. It's okay, Mr. Vicker. We're here watching over you. You just ride this out, right? Your individual self is what's not real. It is simply a concept. By the architect. Architect? How could I have believed in an architect? That's ridiculous. I must be losing my mind completely. What you're saying almost makes sense. We exist inside our thoughts, thinking we're in control. That's it, isn't it? We have no control over anything. It's all... Lies. How could I not have seen this? But how do we escape our... ourselves? I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. I... woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm... experiencing. Everything is perfect. In a way, perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced, to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality, clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. I am content. I have finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing.